and complain of high pitch voice we call it septiophonia and today date is 29th of may 2011 and uh, harish tell me about yourself and your problem and how you came to know about me and how you reached here yeah, my name is harish my um, age is 21 i had completed my diploma in csc mm -hmm. so i am doing my kusak certification in bangalore mm -hmm. near by to swajnagar mm -hmm. uh, my native is uh, andhra pradesh mm -hmm. kadapa mm -hmm. uh, i came found uh, this sanjay hospital through google mm -hmm. through okay. internet mm -hmm. and this is a website name is speech therapy india dot in mm -hmm. i repeat speech therapy india dot in mm -hmm. through that i found sanjay mm -hmm. you have seen some of the videos also yeah i seen some of the videos in the website uh, speech therapy dot in mm -hmm. So because of that, uh, videos I inspired and come here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So since how long you are having this problem? From childhood, I have this problem. Okay, we can say from puberty, <laughs> yeah. not childhood. After the puberty, voice will change. Yeah, okay. And but in few people, it will not change. So yeah. they need the professional help, mm -hmm. and the professional who are trained to treat all kind of communication disorder, mm -hmm. including your problem, puerophonia. Okay. voice problem stammering misarticulation mm -hmm. all this kind of problem are called speech language pathologies sometimes people will call speech therapists also mm -hmm. so they are trained to treat this kind of problem okay. and their basic qualification should be uh, in india to work at least bachelor in audiology in speech language pathology or bsc speech and hearing and then masters they should have in speech language pathology or in speech and hearing master and uh, nowadays many of the quacks are also doing the same thing many people did especially i have seen in stammering uh, i had a stammering i cured myself cured myself and then <laughs> curing to the others so lots of awareness is needed especially in india maybe this video will help i have seen many of them now i have seen few doctors are suggesting medicine also for stammering and uh, so i am really surprised that and uh, some of the ex stammerer and those who are physician they will make it some organization and uh, mm -hmm. related to the stammering and they will get communication box up and something something <laughs> so what we can do but as a professional my message to the people is again i am repeating that the speech language pathologist or speech therapist are the professional who are trained to treat all kind of communication disorder in some of the cases the ent opinion is also needed so if needed they can refer to you if you have problem in the heart go go to the cardiologist so if you are having problem in speech language you should go to the speech language pathologist if they feel something where where to refer they will refer to you obviously sometimes it's needed team work yeah okay so this is my message okay Okay, I will give one reading sample to you. Okay. Just uh, read it. <coughs> It's called Randolph Assess. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act like a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow is a division of white light into many different beautiful colors. This take the shape of a long round arc. with its path high above and its two ends abruptly beyond the horizon there is according to legend a boiling pot of gold at one end people look but no one ever finds it when a man looks for something beyond his reach his friends say he is looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow okay thank you okay mm. so 